So hi, I'm Sophia Heber-Brock, and today I have the opportunity to speak with five truly heroic students. These boys rescued two young children from an icy pond during a sledding incident last month. I'm joined by Kieran Foley, Joseph Dietrich, Drew Scalis, Ryan Day, and Tyler Armigan. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you for having us. Of course. So can you explain what happened that day, like from the beginning? In the beginning, we were just all down by the lake. And uh, I started to hear um, the father yelling to the children. And I saw them coming down the hill. And uh, eventually, they got like they hit the water. And um, I didn't see anyone, anyone else moving. So I just hopped in and uh, got them out before they uh, got hypothermia. And Drew, you were? Yeah, my dad dropped us off around 12, I think. We went all around the whole country club. We went pretty much side to side, like across the whole country club. We even went uh, just really one big hill. We were having fun and then went down to the lake to check if it was frozen. And then we saw the kids coming down. And as Kieran said, Kieran hopped in and the parents ran down as we got the kids out. We all, uh, we all kind of went in after, you know, what's so special about us is that we make great teamwork um, as it showed there. Um, I went in after Kieran, grabbed RJ, then uh, I'm not sure who went in after. I, I didn't really – I wasn't really focused on what was happening, just uh, getting them to safety. So when you saw them, what was your initial, like, thoughts? Uh, me and Joey were the first to see them originally, I think, coming down. Joey screamed at me. We both screamed. And then uh, – then the parents started screaming. They were running after them, and they slid into the water. Uh, I think me and Joey were both looking at each other like, should we try to stop it? What should we do? Yeah. It's going way too fast. We can't stop it anyways. We had uh, got the children out of the water even before the parents made it down, to, down the hill. So it just took some teamwork, right? And it's like, yeah. So what did you guys learn from that experience? Um, um, mainly to just like, I guess let's like be more alert and stuff, you know? Always pay attention to your surroundings. Yeah. So one very important lesson that I've picked up from my parents is uh, when you're there, help out the community in any way you can. And uh, as showed there, I think that's all our parents told all of us, and as showed there, we all did that. And that's what makes me and all of us proud. Well said. <laughs> and I just want to thank you guys again for all of your heroic doings. And it's really cool to know that we have such selfless and fearless students at Middletown North. So is there anything else? Um, oh, actually, so just out of curiosity, what what has it been like getting interviewed by these news channels. Uh, it was no, crazy. I mean, like really at the end of the day, oh, oh we're, Go on. Go on. Uh, we, it's like what after the day like, that we did oh it, like um, we were all joking that like, oh, we're not gonna get on the news, and then it ended up it's happening. Not, oh, it's uh, it's also surreal. I mean, we never expected it to transpire to be something this big. No, we were on like na national television. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. What did yeah. your family say? My dad was like, I don't think any of our parents were really surprised with us. I mean, my like, my parents like didn't take me seriously. Like they just thought that we were making up something. I called my dad to come and pick us up from Beacon. He's like, why, why are you leaving so early? I'm like, Kieran went swimming. <laughs> Oh, that's that's good to know. It's funny. Uh, and I heard that I was watching a few of the interviews that you guys did, and I heard that Kieran, you lost your boot in the water, right? I don't think he can hear us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he lost his right boot. When I lost my boot? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I was picking the kid up and I didn't um, realize that the, the floor of the pond was so muddy. So the boot just got like sucked in and um, yeah, I just 
like stepped right out of it because I didn't have it tied. And um, in one of the interviews, I think Ryan, you said, you said like a really good phrase. You're like, things can be replaced, or things can be replaced, not lives. So can you talk about that? Um, significance. So once again, um, this was passed down to me from my dad. He's a very special person to me, and um, he said uh, he always told me that like these things, materialistic things, can be replaced, and loved ones cannot. Loved ones, anyone you don't, anyone you don't know. This just goes to people in general. Yeah. Okay. Well said. <laughs> That's all the questions that I have. So. Is there anything else you would like to share about the experience or? Yeah, we all went to my house. At what time did you guys get here? Like 6.30 a.m. on yeah, Monday morning? Yeah. <laughs> and Good Morning America and CNN wanted to be the first yeah. two to do it. And News 12 shows up outside before every other news station for the live what interview. Did, this wasn't supposed we to had, happen. Like three news stations in one day. Oh, wow. What was that like having like a news crew on your lawn? It was really weird. Yeah. It was really weird. My neighbors came outside and they were looking at us. <laughs> we have actually an uh, interesting story. So actually after our CNN interview, um, Drew's house is like a block down from Quick Check. So we're like, you know, well, let's go walk to Quick Check. And we actually saw um, the dad. We saw him driving. He was coming back from Starbucks. Hey. He pulled over and we took a picture with him. So that was uh, pretty cool. And that, that story somehow got on the news. Yeah, I think I actually saw that. I was looking, I was like doing some research and I think I saw that selfie. That's funny. Did you get to talk to the family afterwards? We yeah, did. Like for, one of the interviews on one of the Zoom calls, we talked to them. Good morning, America, I think. Yeah, I think it was. No, no, no. I don't know. What was that like, getting to hear their like side of the story? I mean, it was interesting because we were at the bottom of the hill; we weren't at the top of it. Yeah, it was. It was great so talking to them again. They're, they're a great. Yeah, family. yeah. They're very nice people. Okay. Anything else you would like to say? Not that I know of. Okay. Yeah, that's all the questions I have. So thank you for joining me. Of course. Thank you for having no us. Problem. Thank you. Of course.